charged particles in matter. Dear student, charge is an amount of electrons. A particle is a small localized object to which can be ascribed several physical properties such as volume or mass. A charged particle is a particle with an electric charge. It may be either a subatomic particle or an ion. Goldstein in 1886 used a perforated cathode in a discharged tube. On passing the electric discharge at low pressure, he observed a new type of rays carrying a positive charge streaming behind the cathode. These rays were named anode rays or canal rays. The neuron was discovered by Chadwick. He made alpha particles to strike on beryllium and neutral particles are emitted and these were called neutrons. Characteristics of Subatomic Particles Dear students, subatomic particles are the particles smaller than an atom. Cathode rays travel in straight lines. The charge on an electron E is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 C. Mass of the electron Me is equal to 9.31 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kg. The value of E upon Me was found to be 1.76 into 10 raised to the power 8 columns upon G. The charge to mass ratio of the particles in the anode rays was found to depend upon the nature of the gas in the discharge tube. Thomson's model of an atom Dear students, Thomas Thomson was a Scottish chemist and a mineralogist whose writings contributed to the early spread of Dalton's atomic theory. Thomson model of atom. He proposed that an atom consists of a uniform sphere of positive electricity in which the electrons are distributed more or less uniformly. This model of atom is known as the plum pudding model or raisin pudding model. Rutherford's model of an atom. Dear students, Ernest Rutherford was a New Zealand born physicist and a chemist became known as the father of nuclear physics. Alpha particle scattering experiment. The experiment involved the bombardment of a thin sheet of gold by alpha particles. These particles were obtained in the form of a narrow beam by passing through a slit in a lead plate. A circular screen coated with zinc sulphide ZNS, was placed around the foil to detect the reflection suffered by alpha particles. Whenever an alpha particle struck the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at that point. Observations Most of the alpha particles, nearly 99%, passed through the gold foil undeflected. Some of the alpha particles were deflected by small angles. A few particles were either deflected by very large angles or were actually reflected back along their path. He explained his observations as follows. Since most of the alpha particles pass through the foil undeflected, it indicates that the most of the space in an atom is empty. Alpha particles being positively charged and having considerable mass could be deflected only by some heavy positively charged center. The small angle of deflection of alpha particles indicated the presence of a heavy positive center in the atom.
Rutherford named his positive center as nucleus. Alpha particles which make head-on collision with heavy positive center are deflected through large angles. Since the number of such alpha particles is very small, the space occupied by the heavy positive center must be very small. Bohr's model of an atom and distribution of electrons in an atom. Dear students, Niels Hendrik David Bohr was a Danish physicist who made foundational contributions to understanding atomic structure and quantum mechanics for which he received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922. Bohr was also a philosopher and a promoter of scientific research. Bohr's model of atom based upon quantum theory of radiations. Main points of this model are The electrons in an atom revolve around the nucleus only in certain selected circular orbits. These orbits are associated with definite energies and are called energy shells or energy levels. These are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. or designated as K, L, M, N, etc. shells. Only those orbits are permitted in which the angular momentum of the electron is a whole number multiple of h upon 2 pi, where h is the Planck's constant, that is, angular momentum of the electron mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, where m is the mass of the electron, v is the velocity of the electron and r is the radius of the orbit. In other words, angular momentum of electron in an atom is quantized. As long as the electron remains in a particular orbit, it does not lose or gain energy. This means that energy of an electron in a particular orbit remains constant. That is why these orbits are also called stationary states. When energy from some external source is supplied to the electron, it may jump to some higher energy level by absorbing a definite amount of energy equal to the difference in energy between the two energy levels. When the electron jumps back to the lower energy level, it radiates same amount of energy in the form of a photon of radiation. Triangle E is equal to E2 minus E1 is equal to HV. V is equal to E2 minus E1 upon H, where V is the frequency of the emitted radiation. Neutrons Dear students, neutron was discovered by Chadwick. It is a subatomic particle which has the symbol N or N0. A neutron is one of the fundamental particles that make up matter. This uncharged particle exists in the nucleus of a typical atom along with its positively charged counterpart, the proton. Proton and neutrons each have about the same mass. Valency Part 1 and Valency Part 2 Dear students, in chemistry, valency or valence number is the number of valence bonds a given atom has formed or can form with one or more other atoms. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are known as the valence electrons. Valency or valency number is a measure of the number of chemical bonds formed by the atoms of a given element. For example, hydrogen, lithium, 
sodium atoms contain one electron each in their outermost shell. Therefore, each one of them can lose one electron. So, they are said to have valency of one. If the number of electrons in the outermost shell of an atom is close to its full capacity, then valency is determined in a different way. For example, the fluorine atom has 7 electrons in the outermost shell and its valency could be 7. But it is easier for fluorine to gain 1 electron instead of losing 7 electrons. Hence, its valency is determined by subtracting 7 electrons from the octet and this gives a valency of 1 for fluorine. Isotopes Dear students, isotopes are variants of a particular chemical element such that all isotopes of a given element share the same number of protons and electrons. The number of unit positive charges on the nucleus of an atom of an element is called atomic number of the element. Atomic number of an element is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom or the number of extra nuclear electrons. Generally, it is denoted by the letter Z. Atomic number Z is equal to number of protons is equal to number of electrons. Mass number Total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus is called mass number of the atom. It is generally represented by the letter A. Mass number A is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons is equal to number of nucleons. Mass number and atomic number of an element are indicated as Isotopes of an element are the atoms of the element with the same atomic number but different mass numbers. The three isotopes of hydrogen can be represented. Calculation of average atomic mass Dear students, the atomic mass is the mass of an atomic particle, subatomic particle or molecule. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Nitrogen occurs in nature in the form of two isotopes with atomic mass 14 and 15 respectively. If average atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.0067, what is the percentage abundance of the two isotopes? Solution let percentage abundance of N14 isotope is equal to X. Then percentage of abundance of N15 isotope is equal to 100 minus X. The average atomic mass is equal to X into 14 plus 100 minus X into 15 upon 100. Now 14X plus 100 minus X into 15 upon 100 is equal to 14.0067 minus x is equal to 1400.67 minus 1500 is equal to minus 99.33 or x is equal to 99.33 thus percentage abundance of N14 isotope is equal to 99.33% and percentage abundance of N15 isotope is equal to 0.67%.